Hi, David Smith here with David Smith Radon. Uh, for you that don't know, we're uh, Illinois' second oldest uh, radon mitigation company. We've been doing radon mitigation for uh, 21 years, but we're also a supply company for radon materials. Uh, anything you need to do mitigation-wise, uh, we carry, and we ship stuff all over the United States. We're real proud uh, of that fact. We love that job, uh, and we love supplying uh, radon uh, mitigation people. But one of the uh, things about being a supplier is you get a lot of questions. And so I spend a lot of my day with people saying, hey, Dave, I've got this problem or I've got that problem. Do you have any idea of a solution? Do you have any suggestions? And so one of the problems uh, uh, that we all face in at least uh, middle United States is dewatering systems. And uh, I think all of us uh, radon people cringe when we do a bid on a house that has a dewatering system. Uh, and several dewatering system, uh, system people are also mitigators, which is a good thing because the two do have to work hand in hand. And I think all of us in both industries know that. And so uh, one of the biggest questions that, that we encounter is what are we going to do about an open top dewatering system? And uh, dewatering systems are constantly, uh, those companies are constantly making a better product, but we're, we're usually bidding a job that has the old product in it. And one of the most common ones we call the baseboard dewatering system, uh, and this is just kind of a, a, a way to make it look, look like that. They don't quite look like this. But there, there's something that goes along the wall and has an open top. Now, uh, as you know, as a radon mitigator, that open top is just a killer because there's a whole bunch of holes in the block below it that are emitting radon. And so we know we have to seal it shut. Well, the reason it exists we also know is for water that may or may not come through the walls. And so if water has a chance of coming through the walls, then we get the challenge of what are we going to do? Uh, you can't really seal the top and then have the water just spill on the floor. So uh, the dewatering system is defeating its purpose. And I understand we're in a competitive world uh, and we can only do so much, especially in a real estate sale. But uh, we always call the dewatering company if we can and ask them if they would like to do something or make suggestions. Uh, try to make friends with them for sure. Uh, if we are in a position where we can't uh, and we're also in a position where water is coming in the walls so this lip is having to do its, its, uh, uh, its job and the water is coming in from here, then we go to, uh, to your uh, local uh, lumber yard, uh, your Menards or Home Depot or Lowe's, whatever, and we buy this product called FRP, and it comes in four by eight sheets. Uh, it's, uh, it's, I think the, the initials sound for fiber, fiberglass reinforced panels. Uh, and you can rip it to any height you want. And so in other words, we take a look at the, uh, at the basement we're in, and if the, if the uh, water problem that is on that, uh, on that outer wall is only uh, six inches high, then we can rip this at 10 inches, whatever. I have seen us go the full four feet before. But I want to talk a little bit about the way to attach this. And by the way, uh, as most of us know, this is a very durable product. If you remember, uh, at least in the old days, uh, uh, a lot of the, uh, I call them saloons, a lot of the saloons and taverns you walked into, this would be on the walls of the restrooms. and so. It stood the test of time. If it, if it survived in a men's restroom in a bar, then it was pretty durable product. And, and so uh, I'll, I'll vouch for that. And so what we do is we cut this to the height we think is, uh, is doable. We, uh, we typically hold it up against the wall just as this is. And, and bear in mind, we're covering the de dewatering system as we do this. And then we put some pressure on it. We put enough pressure on it to, to sort of make a little bend at the bottom. And then we use these, uh, for lack of a better word, I think they're still called Christmas tree fasteners, which we, by the way, sell. But we use the Christmas tree fastener. And we have pressure here. And so if, if we're using that fastener, I'll go ahead and actually put one in. So behind the Christmas tree fastener, I should tell you, on this top lip, before we do it, we, uh, we then, after we, after we set up the a height we're going to do it, then we, then we typically run a bead of, of uh, butyl caulk. And if, in case you don't know about the values of butyl caulk, it is um, 
the old-fashioned caulk that was always used on gutters and uh, it'll seal the corner of a gutter for 20 years it'll certainly seal a piece of of this product so we found butyl caulk to be the best caulk you can use for this type of uh, work and, and it's uh, uh, it works like a million dollars for us so we run a bead of butyl caulk all along here before we do our Christmas tree fasteners and then we simply drill the hole it takes a quarter inch hole for them and tap them in usually with a hammer uh, uh, now bear that bearing in mind that after you do this you've got some pressure here so typically we uh, we simply do the same caulk and by the way we do carry this uh, we're pretty proud of this uh, uh, a butyl caulk that we carry because it's low VOC so when you guys are in crawl spaces uh, the low VOC comes in real handy not only for your customers but for your own men uh, we're very happy to find we have found a low VOC one that's, that's very effective sometimes Leo low VOC seems to take some of the uh, some of the good ingredients out of it in this particular case um, that's not so so when we get to this point then we come along here and we do the same thing right here. Now typically, I can be wrong occasionally, but typically this is all you need. And we all know concrete floors are not level, but, but uh, you have to adjust to your situation. But typically, because we've put some pressure on it, uh, we're able to just seal the bottom with uh, butyl caulk. It's a very durable caulk when it sets up. So the point of it is, you still allowed the wall to bleed water. You haven't affected the warranty on the, uh, on the baseboard dewatering system or the other types that simply have a lip sticking up. Uh, I'll show you a little, uh, a little indication of them. But the two major types of dewatering systems are baseboard and underground, but the underground does have a lip coming up to serve the same purpose for uh, water that may or may not come in the, uh, uh, the vertical wall. So I hope this helps you a little bit. Uh, we don't do it all the time. We seal the top of those uh, systems often uh, because not too many homes that we encounter have the walls bleeding water. Uh, I, I always say you've got bigger problems than that if you have that going on. But I hope uh, I get this question a lot and when I try to explain it over the phone, I think it's still kind of confusing. So I hope this little video helps you understand how simple of a process this is. And you have challenges when you get to the corners. You have challenges uh, in every basement, as you know. We usually just overlap it when we get to the seams. But bear in mind, it's, uh, the sheets are eight foot long. And if you cut it, uh, typically we go 16 inches high. This is about 14, I think. But if you go 16 inches, you're covering uh, uh, 24 feet with one sheet of product. And I think this stuff is still around a $20 range. So it doesn't add as much labor as you think it would, and it doesn't add as much cost as you think it would, uh, but it certainly seals out the radon when you have to use it. And, and once again, we don't do it on every uh, dewatering system we encounter, but when we need it, we know that, uh, uh, that we have this as an option. And I think there's probably a, a lot of guys with other great options out there uh, equal to or better than this. But I want to throw this out there as something that has worked for us. Thank you very much.